Each year, nearly a sixth of all teachers leave their profession. A third of all beginning teachers quit within three years. The problem is not that these teachers don't like teaching. They quit because their dedication and energy have been drained by the demands of today's public school classroom, where they labor with too little professional support. It costs millions to replace these teachers. I went to NCAT and it was at a make or break point. Am I going to stay in education? Am I not? I was becoming disenchanted. And the week that I spent out there um, talking to others, interacting, learning and sharing, that's when it really hit me that education is what I was supposed to do. And it's, it's just such an enriching experience and they've actually done studies where teachers who go to NCAT stay in the profession. I know that NCAT saved my teaching career. It has changed my life as a teacher. It's really nice when somebody comes along and says, thank you, we appreciate you. And that's what NCAT does. NCAT says, thank you, we appreciate you as a teacher. Based in Cullowhee in the Blue Ridge Mountains, NCAT is the North Carolina Center for the Advancement of Teaching. Its mission is to keep high quality teachers in the classroom and to help them educate and inspire the next generation. NCAT was the idea of a teacher Jean Powell, who was the 1983 Teacher of the Year from Clinton. And uh, during that year, Governor Hunt, Governor Jim Hunt, had formed a commission on education for economic growth. And the commission was charged with creating a blueprint that might improve public school education. We went around the state asking people, including business people and teachers and others, to tell us what we could do to enable future growth, but particularly focusing on education. How could education help us have better jobs and a better future? The result of the commission was a pilot program that evolved into the center known as NCAT. NCAT offers week-long seminars designed to rejuvenate teachers and help create networks of professional support. Since then, thousands of teachers have attended NCAT seminars on topics ranging from the Holocaust to current literature to the ecology of the Appalachian Trail. All our seminars are multidisciplinary and well integrated to address the subjects in the North Carolina Standard Course of Study, which is the public school curriculum. So the expertise that we bring in comes from the humanities, sciences, uh, literature, uh, just about every subject area in the Standard Course of Study. Putting a seminar together is a very complicated process, but what we always strive to do is to get all the elements that make the seminar an intellectually challenging experience to the teachers, a learning experience, an experience that will transition and apply to their classrooms back home in ways that they never imagined when they stepped through the door or off the bus. Now that we're going to have another campus down on the East Coast at Ocracoke, I would hope we'd uh, have the goal of having every teacher given the chance to come to NCAT at least once every three or four or five years. The NCAT seminar that I went to recently was called Salty Dogs and the Lore of the Sea and it was on Ocracoke Island and it focused on commercial fishing and the families and the culture of the commercial fishermen. This is a seminar where you will see teachers going on fishing boats with commercial fishermen. But the seminar is about so much more than that. It's about the literature associated with seamanship and the lore of the sea. It's about the ecology of the barrier islands. It's about the economic impact of the fishing industry on North Carolina and on the country as a, as a whole. I'm taking the Motown seminar and I'm having a blast. <laughs> NCAT practices what we preach. We use adult learning theory and what we know about how adults learn in our seminars. We involve our teachers in experiential activities. I'm a second grade teacher, so I do a lot of activity in my classroom and I have lots of great ideas to take back with me. Part of this uh, seminar is team building, so that was a real team experience to get in the raft and everybody has a role and you have to depend on one another and uh, we had some folks that were a little bit leery about getting out there, so we had to really uh, make them feel comfortable. I want to tell my students you can do things you didn't think you could do. 
meeting teachers from across the state helps helps each of us come together and form a support group for ourselves if we don't have one at the school where we are. We had art teachers, we had elementary teachers, there were other history teachers, English teachers from all across the board, all these different teachers. And so you got a chance to hear what's going on across the state what's happening in other counties, and you also got a chance to hear what other teachers were doing, and we could exchange ideas. Once we get together and start exchanging our views, we find out that there are a lot of common issues uh, across the board, and also there are a lot of common solutions across the board. You just make friends from all over. You exchange email addresses, and then you have like a group of people that you can talk to, network with, discuss things, and, uh, and just rejoice with each other when you make national boards or when you try an activity at works or you find a new website and you want to share that with someone. About 60,000 teachers have gone through NCAT. It comes at no expense to the teacher because NCAT takes care of the registration fee, we take care of the travel, and we take care of the substitute if the teacher happens to come during the school year. You fill out an application, it's a short application, it's easy, and that's it. The food is awesome. Uh, they have a top-notch staff, everything's gourmet, they provide us with the recipes later, but from transportation, travel, amenities, food, everything's paid for. About a third of our teachers, of our new teachers, drop out in the first three years. But if they'd gone to NCAT, only 5% drop out. My former boss uh, told me one day, you have to go to NCAT, you just have to go. And I said, well, what's the big deal? And finally, after a couple of years of her prodding, I decided, well, I'll try it. And I went for the Civil War seminar, which was fantastic. I really like drama, and I went back rejuvenated, wrote a play, and my kindergartners presented it to the whole school. Professional development is not about sitting in a classroom all day and listening to a PowerPoint. The purpose of NCAP is to provide enrichment. And if you are enriched in a variety of ways, then you'll be a better teacher when you go back into the classroom. They gave us the opportunity to reflect, to enhance our abilities. To not give up on education as a field and to not give up on the students. I wish every teacher I know could have come this week and experienced the empowerment this has been a gift. It truly has been a gift. My 29th year is coming up. I'm a veteran teacher. I feel like I've been reborn. Thank you. There were at least four teachers who were going to leave, decided to stay just because of that one amazing experience. And nobody else does that. No other state in, in the country. This is great. This is something you have to do. It's the only place of its kind in America. If we want to have great schools, we've got to have great teachers. Individually, we may never feel the influence of a corporate CEO, a rock star, or a rocket scientist. But every one of us has been influenced by a teacher. NCAT recognizes and encourages the teachers who are shaping America's next generation. NCAT, because we all need good teachers.